So here we are, we're leaving Witted Field in St. Petersburg, and it's sad because this is such an awesome, awesome airport. So we're kind of sad to be leaving, but on to better places. Dunn Air Park. There are several air parks near the shuttle landing facility and we are going to be visiting NASA and checking out the Kennedy Space Center. So this was a great spot to park our plane and if you're going to be at this area and you're going to tour the Space Center, which you should do because they've got a lot of cool stuff, this is a good spot. They have two runways, a grass and a paved runway. I think it's 2,900 feet. going to a NASA launch today and never done anything like this. Was invited by a couple of friends that work at the Kennedy Space Center and NASA to go to this launch and I had to get up super early because you get on the bus, the shuttle to get over there at like 4 a.m. and I'm really excited about that. So last night we spent on the Space Coast and I slept not one second last night, not one second. I thought of every subject known to mankind. It was a very long, miserable night. And I have got my concealer in my pocket because I will be applying this like every 30 minutes so I don't look like a raccoon crawling out of a garbage can. <laughs> Six seconds into the flight, the vehicle has just uh, gone through the sound barrier, just passing Lock Walk. In Mach 1, Alice 5 is now supersonic. And people now throttling up. Engine response looks good. Continue to see good chamber pressure on both SRBs. Two little white out. dots coming off from the side of the vehicle. If, uh, we got a good sun on uh, today. And that'll be the separation of the two solid rocket boosters about uh, seven seconds from now. Expected engine response looks good. One minute, 50 seconds in. Atlas is now 17 miles in altitude, 11 and a half miles downrange distance, traveling at 2,300 miles per hour. 